I feel like tarot is literally just confirming what you already know. Ooh. When your fast isn't as good or you're not gonna be as cleansed because you didn't do it the right way, there is no right way. like vlog style video on this channel I kind of just wanted to do like a vlog focused on like spiritual stuff so today is actually the day before the full moon in Leo behind me you guys can see a lot of boxes <laughs> I actually just moved into a new place a new city girl okay I am actually now located in Houston I used to live in New Orleans and I just moved here last week so if you guys like moving vlogs you like lifestyle content you like body care shower routines get ready with me sunday resets i have another channel called india ajay every day everything is linked in the description box down below girl but if you like those types of videos regular vlogs and stuff definitely go ahead and subscribe to my other channel this channel is completely devoted to spiritual content so yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the vlog so i started off this morning you guys saw me just kind of like get ready for the day this room like i said i just moved in so i pretty much just had boxes and like a big empty space so i'm gonna do some little stretching in here got my yoga mat got my blanket because these floors are very much hard <laughs> um yeah this is my first time doing any like spiritual thing in this apartment i've only been here like a few days i moved in friday and today is wednesday so it's only been a few days girl and i'm just like okay this is perfect timing full moon tomorrow like let's go ahead and do do a little something i'm also going to be fasting as well let me give you guys a little breakdown okay so we're about to go ahead do a little morning routine stuff i'm gonna light some incense do some stretching i'm a journal i'm gonna pull some tarot and then um and then that probably be all like i show you guys today that'll be pretty much it right and then also i'm gonna be doing a cleanse so i'm gonna be doing salads um fruits like regular fruits fruit bowls smoothie bowls with like granola and i have some juices as well so that's what i'm going to be doing for the next three days today tomorrow and friday for sure and then we'll see if i decide to continue a little longer but right now <clears throat> right now the plan is to do it for three days and then there is going to be um a grand opening of this new spiritual store called I think it's called the Crystal Loft. If you guys have ever seen it, I think they're spiritual and paid on Instagram. They have a store in Atlanta and they're opening one here in Houston. Girl, they're opening it on Sunday. So I'm planning to go. So I felt like that would be cute. We can go to that. I'll probably get a few things. We can do a little haul um, and stuff. And I can show you guys like the kind of foods that I like to eat for my cleanses. And yeah, just like kind of like some of the stuff that I do. I'll probably take um, a, I'm definitely going to take a bath. I'll probably put a few herbs in it i have some fresh flowers so i'm probably also gonna put like some bubbles and stuff though so it's not gonna be like a 100 percent spiritual bath but it's gonna have a spiritual component okay so yeah girl that is enough for this intro okay um let's go ahead and just dive right in
Okay, babe, so we are getting ready to do some stretching. I'm not doing actual yoga today. Sometimes on the full moon or the new moon, I will go ahead and find, um, you know, like a YouTuber who posted a full moon, new moon yoga routine, but I decided to just do some regular stretching today. I always like to start off with just, you know, like neck and shoulders. And then I did move into like some hip stretches as well. I'm just doing a little bit of like hip opening, working on the sacral chakra, some cat cow and um, which I know is a yoga pose but we didn't do like actual yoga um, a little bit of cat cow a little bit of hip opening a little bit of just stretching in general I feel like stretching is for one just super important in general just to maintain honestly for me to maintain my flexibility because I did dance for many many years so um, I would definitely say that I'm flexible and I want to keep my flexibility and also working on your sacral chakra. It's really, really great to stretch as well. We hold a lot, a lot of tension, a lot of trauma in our hips. So it's really good to do hip opening exercises and stretching. And I also feel like if you're looking for a way to like feel more feminine, that stretching is a really, really great um, addition to go ahead and add to your routine. I do not stretch every day, girl. I would not even lie to you. Okay. But I'm the kind of person who like, I'll just randomly just like do a split with both legs just to make sure that I'm still good. <laughs> But um, but I do try to stretch some a few days a week, like just here and there during the week. I'll try to do some type of stretching just to, you know, like I said, keep keep your hips open, open them even more because the more that they're open, the more like trauma, the more energy you can release from that area of your body. So definitely recommend that you girls do some stretching. OK, and yeah, let's go ahead and just move right into the rest of the vlog. OK, so y'all saw me just go ahead and do my stretching. So now I'm going to. I feel like I'll probably do a little voiceover for that part, so I'm just not gonna talk about it because I probably already talked about it. So here's my tarot deck. This deck is by Vanessa Samina. She is a YouTuber. If y'all do not, um, if y'all have never heard of Vanessa, y'all have never watched any of her tarot readings or anything, love her stuff. Okay, she has like half a million subscribers. I think probably even more at this point. And this is one of her tarot decks. She has multiple. Um, She also sells like, some crystal jewelry and stuff. Her website is really nice, so I definitely recommend you guys check it out. But I love this tarot deck because I mean it's pink, so hello. <laughs> it's so cute, and I just it's pink and gold, so I just think it's so pretty. So normally what I do is honestly, I'm just going to um I have not that's something else that we're gonna do. I have not staged my whole apartment since I got here. When I got here the first night, I just did some Florida water just real quick and just kind of like set my intentions and kept it pushing. So we'll do the full um, sage cleanse, which is actually perfect because we got a full moon. So we can release all the, um, there should be really no previous energy in this because nobody has ever lived in this apartment before, but you know, just to cleanse the whole, the whole, whole space. So um, I'm saying all, <laughs> I'm saying all that to say that I have not even burned my sage yet since I've been here. So I'm just going to cleanse my deck with these, um, with this incense that I have burning over here. So normally for me, I am not, um, a skilled tarot reader I think I might want to become one though not to necessarily like do readings for other people but just to like know because I feel like you know when you know no okay so I feel like when you're reading tarot of course you're going to use your intuition you're going to channel your messages from your higher self and from your guides but when you can look at the oh beautiful <laughs> ace of crystals um, when you look at the card, when I look at this ace of crystals, I immediately know new beginnings. Like I know that an ace means new beginnings, right? But I can know even more, you know, so I forgot what the deck is. I'm going to look when I go to the, um, to the store on Sunday and see if they have the deck. There's a specific deck that's supposed to be really good for like teaching and like learning, really learning tarot and learning what the cards mean. But basically what I do personally is I really just talk to my guides. I just shuffle and I just be like, let's do like three cards and back of deck. I always do back of deck because back of deck, when you pull from the back of the deck, that's the overall energy of the message. And then everything else is like, so you'll take the back of the deck card, overall message. I normally put that at the top. And then I normally ask for like, you know, like three other cards to kind of like enhance the overall message. So that's personally what I do. Um, and then she has a booklet that comes with it. I don't know if this kind of thing comes with every deck, but she has one in here. It's your guidebook and you can read this, but also I believe it's 
Biddy Tarot, like B-I-D-D-Y. I really love that website. So you can go there and literally just like type in the card and it'll give you the whole explanation for the upright and for the reverse. So that's usually what I do. I normally read in my little book first. <clears throat> now, I've been having this deck for a minute. So like I kind of know I know a little something, okay? I can't give the whole intuitive message, but like I said, I know if I see an ace, it means new beginnings. You know, I know if I see something with a two on it, it's like partnerships, right? I know like my major arcana, like if I see the tower card or the death card or the world, the sun, the moon, like I know what those messages mean. But I'm talking about pulling a five of wands, like I don't know off the top of my head what exactly that means, you know? so. Anyway, girl, this, but I feel like this is the perfect way to get started. Like if you're interested in tarot and like you feel really intimidated by it, just get a deck, get a deck. And no, this is a myth. I've heard like, oh, um, you have to be gifted a deck. You do not have to be gifted a deck to start reading tarot. If you feel called to do something, that is your higher self. That is your guides telling you this would be of benefit to you. Go ahead and pick it up, right? So I just felt like called to get a deck. So I was watching like all of her tarot readings and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and order it. So I ordered it and I just started pulling cards and just start pulling cards for yourself. Start reading the messages, start, um, even start writing down like notes when you pull the card, like what, what the cards mean. Because honestly, you're probably gonna continue to pull like the same card or similar cards over and over again because those are the current themes in your life you know like there are some cards i'm like okay like i always pull this card you know not always not like every single time i do a reading but it's like okay i'm definitely like i've seen this card a few times before so yeah i feel like definitely start getting to tarot if you want to get into it and then get the deck i'm gonna get the um the like teaching learning deck or whatever and then um you know just like Get a little bit more you can get a little i'm sorry there's like a little bug flying around <laughs> get a little bit more into it so yeah let me just go ahead um let me just go ahead and shuffle I just want to say, y'all remember when, when we saw the Ace of Crystals on the back of the deck before I had started shuffling? Ace of Crystals. You couldn't make this, is, you couldn't make this up. You couldn't make it up. If you guys are not, this is such, I want to be like, if you guys are not doing this, you have to do it. <laughs> you don't have to do this. But I just love, this is just such like a nice way to connect with your guides. And it's like, of course, you can talk to them, you know, but it's like to have them you know pull the cards for you the cards are never wrong the cards are never wrong like if you pulled it it's for you okay so figure out what part of your life i feel like i personally feel like the cards are never wrong there are some everybody has their own opinion on things there are some people who don't believe in reversed cards like if they pull the card and it's reversed they'll just flip it i personally however it falls out the deck is how it falls out the deck <laughs> Okay, and I feel, I personally feel like for me, the cards are never wrong. If I pulled it, there's a reason that my guides sent it to me. Whether it's something that's coming that they're trying to, you know, warn me about, or it's just something where I need to figure out, okay, what, what exact scenario situation in my life does this card apply to? But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and read my, um, read my things in here and then I'll go ahead and look it up on my little bitty um, tarot deck so let's see um I've seen all these cards before this I don't know if I pulled that before ten of swords I don't know if I've ever pulled ten of swords but these other ones I pulled them so I ended up getting a back of deck and um they gave me five five other cards to read as well so yeah Okay, so these are the cards that I pulled. I'll go ahead and share with you guys. So we have the Queen of Queen of Diamonds. This is my overall reading, my overall message. And then these are my other cards. Four of Swords, Nine of Crystals, Ace of Crystals, Ten of Cups in Reverse, and Ten of Swords. So all of these cards are really like new beginnings. Like literally that's what it is. New beginnings. Ten is like end of a cycle. So we have end of cycle. We have new beginnings. We have this to me when i look at this card i literally see like 
knight in shining armor, right? So like amazing things coming in for you is literally what this card means. Also, some of these cards is like rest and recovery. Some of the cards are like rest and recovery and like don't feel guilty about taking time to rest. Self-care, um, queen of diamonds is really like self-care, don't, um, like you don't have to rush the process kind of thing. Like these things, it's like success is guaranteed. It's okay for you to take a break and like recover from everything that's happened. I told you guys, I just moved. I just moved um, and I just had a birthday as well. So I've really been on go like for real, for real for like, like the whole month of Jane. Honestly, since like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Since like Thanksgiving, I feel like I've been doing like so many like activities, like going out and doing things, going out to eat, going out to the movies, shopping, um, you know, just like with the whole holiday season, like a lot of family activities. Then it was my birthday. I'm, I'm moving at the same time. So like I'm packing. I've just been doing a lot. So these, when I say I feel like the cards are never wrong, I mean, looking at this, this is like, yes. I feel like tarot is literally just confirming what you already know. Like you, it's really not a new message, right? Like if you're, if you're tapped in, you know, you'd be talking to your guides and you, you know, you, you, you're following your intuition. Like you're moving down the path that you feel like you should be on. You're on the right track. You're seeing all the angel numbers. You're getting all the confirmation. When you're pulling tarot, it's literally just seeing it in the physical like physically your guides gave you these cards to help to remind you like yeah all the things that you're thinking are correct i know i need to rest <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> i know that good amazing things are coming for me i know i just moved into a brand new a brand new place new beginnings i know everything is going to be a success you know so it's like it's all really just a reminder so that's one of the reasons i love pulling tarot um but yeah i'm about to go ahead and do some journaling in my journal so i do have i have three journals so i have a regular everyday journal that i keep in my nightstand and then i have a full moon journal which is this one and then i have another one just like this that's a new moon journal so i was thinking of starting i'm starting a brand new everyday journal because i just feel like i'm in a new, new location i was gonna start a new new moon journal and a new full moon journal but i was just like that's okay. I'm gonna just keep it, keep it in this, and I'm gonna go ahead and use up all these pages. So, yeah, all my full moons. My first entry in here is August 24th of 2021, and it is now January 2024. So, I only write in this for full moons. Like, to the full moon is tomorrow. So usually, like a day or two before, and then a day or two after, I'll write in the full moon or the new moon journal, and then I'll put it away. And then all the rest of my entries are gonna be in my um in my regular everyday journal so yeah i do like to write down my tarot because like i said the full moon is tomorrow so i want to write down these cards um that i pulled i might even i haven't read like the bitty tarot thing yet but i might even do that and then like add in a few notes and then just do a regular um journal entry for today and then it is 10 25 so i'll probably be eating my smoothie bowl in a little bit so yeah we'll make that together as well It's 1-24-24. I'm literally, I'm literally just realizing the date. Okay. Okay. Her. The very last thing that I'm going to do is a meditation. I know, oh, I know some people like to start off with a meditation, but I personally like to, I like to pull my tarot. I like to write. Sometimes I pull my tarot after, but I like to write before I meditate because I feel like I can help to get some of the stuff off my mind so I'm actually able to concentrate on the meditation. So I'm really just going to see, I subscribe to a few people who um, who do meditations for like the full moons and new moons and stuff. So I'm literally just scrolling through and I'm just gonna see.
y'all, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my smoothie. Is it a little dark or are we good? Let me um, bring y'all in a little bit. I feel like y'all, y'all can see me. Okay, so I got my little neutral bullet right here. So my smoothie for today, I'm gonna do strawberry, strawberry mango peach. So good. Literally like my favorite, my favorite smoothie combo. I get all of my, I get all my fruits for, I get all my fruits and I get my granola from Trader Joe's. So let me get everything out. mine I pretty much do like half a half a thing of strawberry do a little bit of mango Hello again. <laughs> I am just waking up from a nap. It's 4.42. So I'm getting ready to have, I haven't had anything since my smoothie bowl. So I'm getting ready to have some of this juice from Whole Foods. This is the Rise and Shine. This one is so, so good. I also, y'all probably can't even see the label just because of the lighting, but this one has pineapples, apples, pineapples, grapes, mangoes, and ginger. This is my favorite juice from Whole Foods. There are other ones that I like as well, but this one is top tier. Okay, I also kind of want to start juicing. If you guys juice, let me know down below your favorite juicer, like what kind of juicer you have and where you got it from. And then, um, yeah, just let me know that for sure. I'm, I can find, you know, different recipes and stuff, but I want to know like, if y'all have a juicer and you really like it, and you're like, oh, this is a really good one, let me know, okay? I also picked up a dragon fruit. I have never in my life tried a dragon fruit. The only thing I've had is like the, what is it, dragon fruit, <laughs> what? It's like a dragon fruit mango refresher or something from Starbucks. Y'all know they have some refreshers with, Star with dragon fruit in them at Starbucks. That's the only type of dragon fruit I've ever had. I've never had a real dragon fruit. So we're gonna try this out. Um, I could not find them. When I was in New Orleans, I was doing, a, I did a cleanse and I went to like several grocery stores looking for dragon fruit. We don't got none, okay? But I think because this is from Ecuador and because we're in Texas, we got, you know, so much um, Hispanic um, going on here that they have uh, this kind of stuff literally at just the regular grocery store. I'm pretty sure I got this from Kroger. So I think you just cut it and then like eat it. I think the inside is white. I just really, I wanted to try it. So let's go ahead and test this out. Ooh. Ooh, it's so juicy. 
I hope I like the way this tastes. Okay, I have my spoon. Let's have a taste. Let me know down below if y'all eat dragon fruit because, okay. Hmm. It's good. It kind of reminds me of a kiwi. Like, as far as the texture is with like the seeds and stuff. Hmm. It's not that sweet. It's not like super tart. I don't know if that's just the one I got or if this is how they taste like they're just not that sweet. Oh, hold it in this. Okay. I don't know if I would buy it again, but I'm happy I tried it. Yeah, it's giving kiwi vibes. Giving kiwi vibes. So this is going to be, I'm about to eat this. And it's 4.52. So eat this and then I'll make my salad later. Like around 6, maybe 7-ish. And I'll pick you guys up again for that. Okay, it is time for dinner. It's 6.23. So I'm going to have a salad for dinner. I know I already told you guys this. Now I have this little grow this little small piece of salmon okay last night I had um last night I had salmon but it was like a big piece this is what was left so I'm gonna go ahead and eat it today but probably the next day and some the next day and the day after I won't do any meat um at all so we have that I'm also gonna do um I want so badly <laughs> to eat this dressing but I'm trying not to do dairy I'm trying to just you know like this is not really this is like clean eating that, that's what I'm doing, like clean eating. That's what I would say. Because I feel like there's like a water fast, a fruit and vegetable fast. Um, you can fast however you, however you want to fast, whatever you feel called to do, whatever you feel comfortable with, feeling like you can achieve, do it, okay? Whether it's a juice cleanse where you just drink only juices or drink only smoothies and water or like just doing a water fast or doing what I'm doing, which is really what I would consider just clean eating. So I'm gonna do no dairy. So I have some Italian dressing. Italian dressing right here. I'm gonna go ahead and have this. And let me go ahead and get out all of my, um, all of my vegetables. One of the best things you can do on your spiritual journey is to do what you feel you are called to do. I feel like you could be pressured into being like, oh, it has to be a three day water fast. It has to be a three day fruit cleanse or a three or a seven day fruit cleanse or um, they, you know, only ate these things on their fast. So let me do the same thing. Like you literally don't have to. And like always feel free to just like try it and see if it works. I've attempted a water fast before. I lasted almost two full days and I was like, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't. I ended up breaking my fast with some Ritz crackers. I literally, I literally remember this and I was like, I don't know that I'll ever attempt a water fast again. I just feel like it was too much. It was, it was extremely, extremely difficult. Like I don't even, I can't even explain like how hard it was. I have been successful at like a juice smoothie cleanse where literally I was drinking like those whole foods juices and like some other ones that I had got from like main squeeze and then making my own smoothies. So no chewing at all, like literally liquid. I was successful at that. I did that for three days. Um, and then I've done, I did last time I did a cleanse. I did it the same way that I'm doing this one. And I feel like this works really well for me. I really love food. <laughs> I really love food. I really love eating, like not chewing anything. is like so crazy. So I feel like this 
you know, this is nice for me. Like I said, do what you feel called to do, you know? Don't feel pressure just because somebody else did it that way. Like you have to do it the same and like, oh, your fast isn't as good or you're not gonna be as cleansed because you didn't do it the right way. There is no right way. There is no right way. Whatever way you feel is right for you, that's, that's what's right, okay? So I'm doing all spinach today. I do have romaine lettuce. Let me um, put y'all down. I do have romaine lettuce, but I'm gonna do all spinach today. Let me um, let me just like do one thing at a time. So we got the spinach. Courage to be disliked this this is a good book I actually I have a video if you guys want to go watch check it out after this which is I think it's seven seven self-help books you must read or something like that I put this one on there and I feel like this is like the only one I feel like that I regret putting in the video not that this is not a good book it's a good book but I don't know if it's like a oh my gosh you have to read this like you're gonna get so much from it because you know sometimes when you read a self-help book like you get the book and you're like oh yeah like this is really good like I'm running through this I have so much highlighted and it's like it's good but I don't know it's good I mean read it if you want to read it. it I mean it says what over 8 million copies sold so it's definitely a good book but I'm not like obsessed with it so I'm on page 239 I'm pretty much at the end so let me see is this really all the way this is the afterword 39 so 49 59 69 I have less than I have about 25 pages left of this book so I might go ahead and finish it up right now and then I'll give you guys like my final final thoughts but I always highlight as I read um I just figured I'll go ahead and end the night off with a little reading I um I ordered a new book from Amazon I'll probably go because I have some packages downstairs I'll probably go get those tomorrow and then I can show you guys the book but it's another book by Dr. Joe Dispenza I put um the habit breaking the habit of being yourself on that um seven self-help books you must read video that one 12 out of 10 okay definitely recommend that you read that so I picked up another one of his books that I think I literally just saw like an ad on Instagram and I was like oh, okay yeah like I'll pick up another one of his books because that one was really good so yeah I'm just about to go ahead close the night out um by reading tomorrow is the actual full moon in leo so i'm gonna make some moon water tomorrow um, i'm gonna take a bath tomorrow i have to check and see like what kind of herbs and stuff i have because y'all know like i said i just moved so it's not like i have like an overabundance of um of like all my spiritual stuff so we're gonna see what kind of herbs and stuff i have definitely take a bath definitely make some moon water um cleanse my house we'll cleanse my house with the sage tomorrow cleanse my crystals charge my crystals so that's the plan for tomorrow so yeah finish that off with reading and i will see you guys in the morning maybe in the morning maybe we'll do that stuff in the afternoon we'll see but i will see you guys tomorrow aloha <laughs> happy thursday happy thursday right the days are all running together like they've been running together today is thursday i'm pretty sure thursday the 25th um happy full moon in leo okay so we're in the bathroom because we're getting ready to take our bath it's not gonna be like actually 
you guys will see what I put in the bath when I put it in the bath. Now, honestly, that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I have not come across any of my herbs today. And I went through more boxes, so I probably won't have any herbs in this bath. I'll probably literally just do, oh my gosh, where's my bubble bath? Questions that need answers. Let's figure it out. Okay, I found my herbs and my bubble bath and stuff, so let's go ahead and cleanse this space I have my sage right here so we're gonna light this and then let me grab some water I'm gonna make three bottles of moon water I use moon water for watering my plants if I get um, fresh flowers I use moon water and when I tell you it makes a difference <laughs> it makes a difference okay if you've never made moon water at home make you some girl literally I just take my bottle of water um, take off the wrapping paper wrapping paper whatever you want to call it the paper that's around the bottle and then you can also get like they sell cute little like water jars that sell or water jugs I guess bottles that have like moon water written on it you can definitely get one of those and like you know get your filtered water and put it in there but I just really like to use this this is just really nice and easy and it doesn't have any writing on it so we're good to go You can also clean your water bottles with Florida water as well. I really just like to sage them, spray them with some Florida water, wipe them off, and that's it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my whole house and then we will draw our bath. also gonna follow up with some palo santo i know i didn't show this but obviously make sure your door is open <laughs> that's how you know you're gonna cleanse the space let the old energy out and new energy in so palo santo is really just i like to go cleanse sage for cleansing palo santo you know to bring in those good vibes after you've saged plus this smells so amazing I know the last thing I showed you guys was what was it me making moon water saging my house I don't know it was one of those two things today is now well maybe it wasn't one of those two things girl y'all know what it is because y'all just watched the clip okay but um today is Sunday today is the opening of the crystal loft girl so that is where we are headed we're about to go to the spiritual store pick up a few little things I really just need I need some palo santo I always like to just get incense anytime I go to the spiritual store. So I'll probably pick up a box of those. And then, well, I'm saying that, but we'll see what kind of stuff they actually sell here. Um, I know they have like these different um, intent candle, like candles with like intentions on them for like, I don't know, like gratitude, wealth, 
whatever I don't know we'll see when we get there with like these crystals in it that I've seen on their um on their Instagram so I'm like I feel like I want to get probably one of those and then I want to get a crystal bracelet a black onyx or a black obsidian because I don't have any I won't say I don't have well the only real protection crystal that I have that I wear is my moonstone so I have this on today but I want to get I want to get something black so I'm like let me um probably pick that up as well and then we'll just see oh the deck the tarot deck is called the rider tarot deck if y'all are in a process of learning tarot or if y'all already studied tarot let me know if when you studied it and you were like you know getting good if you picked up the rider tarot deck because they say that's the one that like the pictures are like really accurate to help you understand the meaning of each card if that makes sense so I don't know if they'll have I don't know what they're gonna have in this store to be honest so we're gonna see when we get there obviously I'm gonna take y'all along with me um yeah so let's go ahead and head that way okay so <laughs> this is so funny to me because I don't know what vlog I'm talking to <laughs> so anyway whatever vlog I'm talking to hey girl hey <laughs> we just made it um to the location so it's in Pearl Land Texas so this I mean I don't know like how it how it works so like I don't know if Pearl Land if like even if people who live in Houston like come to Pearl Land all the time to like do things or if this is like the outskirts I, I really don't know but it's cute over here it's like a little um I don't know how to how to describe it like because we don't have anything like this in New Orleans so like I couldn't be like oh it reminds me of such and such it reminds me of this area in Dallas called South Lake well I think South Lake is, it's like South Lake, Texas. I don't know, but they have like an area that's kind of like, kind of like this, not exactly, but kind of reminds me of that. So yeah, when I pass the store, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky a period following the 777s in the car in front of me. And I found, um, I found a spot, period. So when I passed the store, it looked like they had quite a few people in there. So I'm like, okay, cute, cute. Hopefully it's not, I think the store is like kind of small though. So we're going to see how long we stay. I will not be staying over here though. I'll be going back to my neck of the woods for any eating or any targets or anything else that I might wanna do. So let's go ahead and head into the store. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feels and every day All I wanna hear is an vision that we play Staring next to you a little montage of me in the um in the spiritual store girl in the crystal loft so it was so nice the store is beautiful like it's it's all pink it literally says on here let me see it says the crystal loft metaphysical glam so cute like these are such nice bags little tissue paper it's just really like it's just adorable it's really just adorable it's pink it's glam it's pretty it's very magical whimsical ethereal like it's giving the vibes okay so I picked up a few things y'all don't mind these boxes behind me okay y'all know what the deal is okay so first of all y'all saw they had the deck right so when I saw this I was like oh I see what you did there <laughs> I was like no literally the fact that they had this deck 
was just another level of confirmation to let me know that this is something that I should be diving into a little bit more. So this is the giant Rider weight, I guess, tarot deck. This is what it looks like. The only thing I don't know, this one says giant. So I don't know if they're all giant or if she just happened to have the giant. The only thing I don't like about the giant is that I cannot shuffle it like this because my hand is not wide enough to shuffle it like that. So I literally have to shuffle like this, but it's like, it is what it is. This is really just like, I mean, I guess it's cool to have different tarot decks they don't all have to be the same size or you know whatever like this is cool so I actually used it this morning different deck same cards <laughs> that's how you know like when you're pulling the same cards you literally know what the theme of your life is right now like a whole different deck and I'm still pulling the same shit <laughs> so I'm just like wow I love that for me so I'm really excited um yeah I'm really excited I think this is just really cool and yeah so i got the deck let me go ahead and put it back into the box one thing about me i'm gonna use my stuff i was so excited <laughs> i was so excited to use this deck this morning even though i knew oh that, damn that's okay i wanted to show it to y'all so okay what else did i get let me take out my little tissue paper so i got oh they wrap oh this is cute they literally wrapped everything individually and tissue paper so i got some florida water because mine is almost done so i have some more of this they gave some free crystal bracelets how pretty is this this is um i don't have my phone with me lavakite lavar La i think it's la like lavakite or lavar Lobberkite or something I, something like that girl i when i honestly i just saw the different bracelets up there and i was just like y'all know i already told y'all that i wanted a black onyx or a um what's my other one a black onyx or a or a black tourmaline um crystal bracelet because i wanted something for protection they didn't have any um so when i got up there and i saw they had these little bracelets on the counter and they were like oh you can pick um you can pick one so i was really just honestly drawn to this one and when she showed me the little thing what it meant it was like um free spirit and like something else but when i looked it up online it also said this is for protection so i was like i mean literally got it for free come these are the things <laughs> these are the things you cannot make up it's just like you're so in alignment when you if you're receiving all these signs just know that you're in alignment and like your guides are really talking to you you are not crazy okay so got my little bracelet and i also got three other things i think this is my bath salt so this is pineapple sage it's a venturing charge soaking crystals so this is going to be really nice for a new moon bath because they're charged with aventurine so that's literally like abundance and great life manifestation energy so perfect for a new moon and then i got two candles i feel like this is what she's like known for is these like affirmation candles so this one is toast to my accomplishments because period okay <laughs> it smells good look how pretty it has like crystals in it herbs so pretty oh smells really good too oh it has dried flowers really gorgeous mm -hmm. can't wait to burn it so love this i'll probably um I probably only burn it on like special occasions like if I'm like a full moon or a new moon or if I'm like doing something spiritual and I'm like oh let me burn this but super cute I don't know where I want to put it I have this little like this little nook which is really like a bar area but I don't drink hard alcohol I literally only drink like wine and like Prosecco so I'm not gonna have all that stuff up there so I'm just like I'm making it like a little spiritual area putting my incense my sage my palo santo my florida water is going to be over there all my candles that I use when I do candle magic and like all that kind of stuff so I'll put these um probably over there as well like as a little display item and then I got one more candle my favorite angel number is 555 like I love my favorite number like since a child was five and then just as I've gotten into spirituality like 555 girl that's just that's it i just i love it i love it because it's like it's change 
the number five literally means change like so it's it's exciting when you see that number because it's like you know amazing new things are coming towards you so i love it so i got this really pretty i might put this one in my bathroom we'll see like by my tub it says on it 555 an angelic reminder that you are a divine infinite being who chose to incarnate here on earth to experience life in human form always feel that you have worth because you are here to co-create with the universe with the universal source and complete a life so i love this and this one all this one is blue and it also has little crystals as well and this one also smells good and the wick is blue so this is really really cute really really nice event really nice store love that it is black owned i met the owner she's like she looked maybe like a little older than me but yeah i i just love it she was like super cute and like glam and i just i love it love it so yeah i'm really excited with all of my little purchases and everything in the store um, they did 15 percent off as well so that was really nice so yeah girl that is gonna be it of this spiritual vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed this i feel like this little idea came to me for me to film this and i'm happy that i did because i ended up doing like quite a few things um that were like spiritually related so hopefully this was a good little vlog i'm just like i'm gonna close it out right now like this is the end <laughs> i just feel like let's close it off with a little message so y'all know that i i just got to houston right i've literally only been here a week and like two three days at this point but since i got here like even everything leading up to this was like so seamless and like this whole process has honestly been easy you know like it's been an easy transition like everything literally went as it was supposed to go and like we've had no hiccups it's been such a positive experience and like i'm really liking the vibe <laughs> i'm really liking the vibe i love my space um i love my view i love i've just been loving it i went out well y'all know i went out yesterday because i went to the spiritual store but after i did this i went to um i went out to go eat i picked up like um some dessert on my way home so it was really cute if y'all want to see that be sure to subscribe to my lifestyle channel which is india ajay every day that's where all my vlogs are and all of my other content like get ready with me's body care shower routines chit chats life updates all that kind of stuff like all that lifestyle kind of stuff is going to be over there especially like if you're interested in like decorating and like moving vlogs and stuff like that be sure to subscribe over there girl okay but yeah um i was just saying that i feel like this has been just so nice and easy and i just want to like give the message that if you are feeling called to move somewhere else please do it okay it's not gonna happen on its own it's not gonna be this what do i want to say i just want to say like take the chance and just do it i feel like so many people spend their whole life in their hometown just because you were born there does not mean that you have to stay there even if you have to leave friends and family behind if you have to move by yourself whether you're moving one state over or you're moving 12 states over or you're moving out of the country like this is your life this is your journey and whatever it is that you want to do you have to make it happen please take responsibility for your life okay it's not gonna come out of thin air i had to actually set this in this plan to move here has been set in motion for probably like two years at this point like honestly since i start okay so uh, so i started my spiritual journey may of 2021 in january of 2021 i came to houston on a birthday trip with my karmic partner okay if y'all not new to my channel y'all probably already seen that story time right about my karmic partner i have a video about my karmic partner and then i have my spiritual awakening video which is the first video i posted on my channel where i talk heavily about my karmic partner right so we came here for a birthday trip january 2021 we were driving around at night and like it's all lit up and like looking pretty because we were driving by the galleria so like y'all know well if y'all have been to houston they have like the trees wrapped with like lights and stuff so at night it looks really pretty and we were literally driving like this gorgeous like sports car down the street and i was i literally told him i was like i could see myself living here i literally said this out of my mouth i was like i could see myself living here fast forward three years later i'm living here what <laughs> what okay so 
it's just like so amazing how everything has come like full circle and like I'm really living here and this is like this is really my life <laughs> this is really my life for real so it's like if you want to do something you feel called to go somewhere especially if you feel called to move to a specific place do your astro cartography i don't know if i've ever mentioned astro cartography before but my venus line actually runs in between houston and dallas so me being here is literally divinely orchestrated <laughs> like this is this is meant for me like i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be so do your i felt called to houston before i knew what astro cartography even was so when i saw my venus line basically going through houston i was like oh yeah like that that makes sense <laughs> that makes sense so do your you can i think it's um just type into google like astro cartography you need the same information that you need for your birth chart your name where you were born your birth time your day of birth um year and then you can put that information in and look at your um look at your map so yeah and it will literally tell you so like if you've been feeling called to like move to new york and you happen to look at new york on your astral cartography and you see that like your saturn line goes through new york like that you know that's a place for you to be like i mean you might be learning some hard karmic lessons if you move there <laughs> if your saturn goes through that but you know what i mean so like you can look it out um you can look it up and look at your look at your chart and see but i literally just wanted to get this message because if you have been feeling called to move go ahead and set your plan into motion you are fully capable you are fully supported by the universe fully supported by the divine by your guides all of your angelic realm your spiritual team is here to help you on your journey rely on them talk to them meditate so you can communicate with them and yeah just start following your intuition more start following your joy start doing things that you enjoy and you will literally be put down the path to be exactly where you need to be exactly where you're supposed to be and exactly where you are going to thrive okay period so hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm back okay i know we took a little break but y'all know it's because i was moving so i'm back we're gonna be having a lot more videos coming if y'all have any topics anything y'all want me to talk about questions about spiritual journey anything anything related to that that you feel like you have a question about or i could do a video on comment down below girl okay don't forget to subscribe to my other lifestyle channel if you're interested in that type of content hair tutorials india ajay like everything's linked in the description box down below okay girl tiktok instagram all all the things okay like i'm a real content creator so yeah girl thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye